Hello, lighting people. If you take a peek inside any of the LED lighting fixtures that you utilize, specify, buy, or sell, you'll see that at the core of these fixtures is an LED package or an LED chip. One of the prominent names in this component category is Cree LED, a brand that helped spur the LED revolution 15 plus years ago and continues to supply numerous industries with LED components, including our beloved lighting industry. Given the constantly changing landscape of technology and competition, we thought it would be a good idea to catch up with Joe Clark, president of Cree LED, to learn more about the component sector and explore how his company is positioned to navigate through its ever-changing landscape. Joe, hello, and thank you for joining us today for Five Big Questions. Thank you, Al, good to be here. Joe, you're a long timer with Cree LED and you're now leading the brand. And uh, over the years, you folks have been involved with many different industries. And as you look at the landscape today and you look at your business today, how important is general lighting category to your brand and your future strategy? Yeah, so we, we do serve a broad group of industries and applications, uh, but general lighting remains very important to us. In fact, we're, we're excited about general lighting, uh, a little bit counter to, to many of our competitors, perhaps. There's a significant opportunity um, in that space with a lot of competitors deprioritizing their effort or leaving the space or having some quality or, or uh, financial problems. So we see it, it as a place that we can continue to innovate. It, it plays very well to our various strengths. And there's a lot of opportunity to solve problems there regarding color quality, lifetimes, performance, and the like. So again, to sum it up, we're, we're enthusiastic and excited about the general lighting market. Well, that, that's uh, that's that's great to know. Certainly, you play in automotive and electronics, but but lighting, of course, is 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 near and dear to our heart, and it sounds like it's an important sector for your brand as well. And um, for those longtime lighting people that might be watching right now, we all lived through the lighting revolution fifteen plus years ago, when it felt like uh, you know every three to six months an LED chip was just leapfrogging the competitor's efficacy by leaps and bounds. And eventually the laws of physics caused those leapfrogs to, to kind of plateau a bit. So when we look at the LED component sector today, Joe, what do you see as kind of the areas for innovation now? Yeah, so it really has been a remarkable journey uh, for really the last two plus decades, like you're alluding to, right? Um, tremendous innovation occurring. And Cree was very much at the forefront of that innovation. Right. And um, during that period, we developed an enormous amount of intellectual property, technology, know-how um, that we're still using to innovate um, everywhere from chips to components. And, you know, I think that people believe that the innovation has slowed. Um, I think it has certainly slowed, uh, but it's by no means done. We see a lot of opportunity um, in various places. We're developing products across a broad range of applications in everything from general lighting to video signs and signals and some of them quite frankly will be quite transformative so we're enthusiastic about the component development space the chip development space and, and all the various places that we continue to make improvements well, we keep up with your technology uh, through all the various uh, you know, marketing initiatives and launches that you do over the years. But uh, as an as a industry journalist, I also follow the public uh, earnings calls of your parent company, sure. which is Smart Global Holdings, also referred to as SGH. But they recently rebranded as Penguin Solutions. Your brand typically makes up between 20, 25% of the entire revenues you were acquired by them in 2021 when when the, the company Cree uh, actually got out of the lighting business and sent the components uh, to, to, to SGH. So now as Penguin Solutions is rebranding and focusing a lot on AI and memory solutions, where does Cree LED fit into the corporate structure of your parent company? Yeah, so as a, a leader in innovative lighting, the Cree LED brand is very well recognized and we will not be changing uh, our name or, or rebranding ourselves as the parent company intends to do. And while there's no synergistic benefit for us to be renamed, you know, our relationship with our parent company, uh, now SGH and soon to be Penguin, continues to be the same. And it allows us to stay true to our mission, grow and invest in the future. And as you mentioned, we're still a substantial contributor to that parent company, and we're expected to grow and improve that contribution for sure. 
that, that's that's great to hear. And yeah, there's certainly been lots of uh, you know, competitive shifts in that sector over the years. And when we when we look at um, you know the last few years, one of the main themes of of all industries has been supply chain that's affected electronics, automotive, and lighting as sure. uh, as as we've all lived through. And you know your supply chain is you know your components, manufacturers, and chemicals and things like that. But then of course you're a big part of the lighting manufacturers supply chain. So when you look at kind of both sides of that coin, um, how would you assess the state of affairs now? And how is your company poised to deliver, you know, the, the supply chain solutions in the timely manner that the industry demands? Sure. Yeah. So we have a, a relatively unique position within the LED industry. Uh, we're a fabulous company, right? That is quite different than most of our competitors. But if you look out at the broader semiconductor space, it's not so different from what a lot of semiconductor companies have done over the years, right? So you know, we've done enormous amounts of design, development, and intellectual property generation um, with all the various innovation that we've done in the last few decades. And, you know, we look to leverage that with partners, manufacturing partners out in the broader world, and think that that gives the best result for our customers and our stakeholders. Uh, meanwhile, we do have a captive component factory, and we manufacture a significant fraction of our products through that factory. But even in the case of components, we have partners um, in various places who are doing some of that as well. So overall, we think this gives us a pretty flexible and nimble approach and re keeps us in a reasonable place with regard to capital expenditures yeah. uh, while leveraging the strengths we have, right? The technology, the brand, the product, innovation, um, intellectual property, the channel that we have. And you mentioned your uh, your manufacturer partners that 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 the, that you work with. Um, so, where if 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 your company and your category is not providing a lot of pain points for them, are they feeling pain points in other places that are impacting kind of the flow of business as you see it? Uh, are, are you asking about our customers or about our? Yeah, like your OEM customers. Are they? Just, are there other pain points? Like I know, like like transformers have like year long lead times in certain. Yeah, cases I was right going to say so. Some yeah. of the other electronic yeah. components have yeah. had some problems. Yeah. And I think inhibited some of our demand over the course of the last couple of years. Yeah. Largely, we're seeing, um, you know, the industry as a whole get past many of those supply challenges, and it feels much more normal now. Uh, whatever normal is after five years of, of pandemic and, and supply chain disruption, all the various things that we've all experienced. But I think, um, you know, as we look forward, we're we're enthusiastic about where we're going and how how things are uh, shaking out. Yeah, that sounds great. And you know, it's it's hard to it's hard to describe what normal is now. And I'm I'm I used to work for manufacturers and man, manufacturing uh, and forecasting was such an important part of that. I don't know how you folks are forecasting these days because I think there's there's just so much uncertainty and other factors that are impacting things that are, that are out of our control. But hats off to you for, uh, for for navigating through those murky supply chain waters. And when we look at your actual business, because you're the LED solutions business of a publicly traded company, your your sales numbers are transparent. So so, you know, 2021, you were doing over $100 million per quarter on a regular basis, um, had, had a couple challenges in 23, but now consecutively in, in, in quarters, you're ramping back up. So what do you see now and in the future as far as, you know, Cree LED's business within this Penguin Solutions structure? How do you see the business progressing from here from a market opportunity and Cree LED standpoint? Yeah, as, as you alluded to, we certainly had some challenges like, like everyone else coming out of the pandemic um, and looking forward. You know, I do expect the trend of recovery and sequential quarterly growth to continue, but I'm not I'm not able to book, make specific forward-looking statements as I probably know. Of course, I wouldn't pin you down for that. But is is there a, is there a feeling of optimism based on the market, or is there skepticism or, or uncertainty? How would you describe the markets? If if you can answer that, I don't want to yeah, pin you down. That have you. Certainly, okay. you know, we saw significant inventory in lots of places as we came through the end of the pandemic. Everybody was buying material sometimes in duplicate or triplicate right so a lot of customers and distributors and everything else had a lot of inventory and now we see things in a much more normal space and we're, we're enthusiastic and excited about the, the future prospects that's good. I, I do hear some uh, other components manufacturers that are speaking publicly I, I hear the term destocking used are you seeing that in, in, in kind of your orbit as well? Yeah yeah certainly our, our specific channel is very healthy and I think that yeah. uh, you know, largely we're seeing a lot of the the constraints that were people were experiencing across the industry being relieved um, now. 
For sure. Well, hey, Joe, I, I know you have a busy schedule and I'm really grateful that you were able to share some insights about your business and this LED component sector with the Inside Lighting audience. So thank you for your time and thank you for sh uh, joining us today for five big questions. Well, thank you, Al. It was good, good to talk to you. Good to meet you.